Hey everyone, Steampunk1993 Productions here. We're at the US 52 crossing here in Metamora, Indiana. As you can tell here by the rust on the rails and the uh, quiet sereneness of this village, um, the, the train is not running at this point. The Whitewater Valley Railroad season has not started. Um, there's supposed to be a few more Easter excursions, but for this time being, I want to do kind of a quick overview of this railroad crossing. Um, seven that I'm kind of curious about here. Um, this is a candy lover crossing. Um, originally when I saw some footage of the Whitewater Valley Railroad back in the 80s and 90s, there were originally no flashers here. So what came to mind was, I'm um, just looking at this crossing, got your emergency contact number. Um, this is a Lincoln Industries base. Um, this lock here, which protects the ladder, is actually comes from Rayco. Now these lights, these are 12 by 24 inch Western Coal and Hayes lights. These have um, a specific LED inside of it. I don't know. They may be Western Coal and Hayes LEDs. Uh, there's something else I found out too. Look at the bracket. It says WRRS. As you probably know, I do not know for sure if this road was always a crossing of flashing lights and then downgrading to cross buck. That kind of concerns me. These, the lights on top on the cantilever are 12 by 24 inch WC Hayes lights with LEDs. Um, this belt, this crossing came with uh, two WC Hayes mechanical bells. The one on this side here where I'm looking at is dead. And then this other one was replaced in September in October 2018 with a new General Signals Type 3 electronic bell. Um, this is looking uh, east down the uh, old New York Central right-of-way. Um, if you notice, there's a turntable back in the woods. I was told by a volunteer that that is the turntable that used to be in Newark, Ohio. It was once part of the B&O Railroad's um, yard at one time. My grandfather, my grandfather Charlie used to work as a dispatcher. You got your switch stand right here and as you can tell there hasn't been a train for a few months. Wait till these cars get across we'll go to the other side. Okay so we're on the other side of the uh, road right now. That's the control box which controls the signals. Fresh emergency contact info. Um, Western Colon Hayes 12 by 24 inch lights with um, LED inserts and as you can tell almost all these brackets here have the WRRS um, Western Railroad Supply badge. Got your Lincoln Industries uh, control box with a uh, Rayco lock. These aren't commonly seen on modern crossings. Um, and then last but not least, if you look on top, there is a, a now a um, defunct W.C. Hayes mechanical bell. Uh, the bell just went, I don't know what year the uh, bell just ticked itself out, but um, what I'd love to see, since this is a pretty busy highway, love to see crossing gates put in place. So you really need some protection. Hopefully they can get the money for it. That's all I'm going to do on this crossing tour. I'll have some more videos later. Peace out. Steampunk 1993. Tower 93 out.